What is up everyone? Welcome back to our Colleges Age Me Let's Play Minecraft series. This is episode 3. Um, so I really do appreciate all the feedback you've given me on the last couple of episodes I've posted. Um, it was really fun making those, but at the same time I know there's a lot of room for improvement. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, continuing the series and getting and you know improving on my video skills and I noticed actually in the last episode that there wasn't any audio from Minecraft so I need to fix that as well um, so here we are we are in our starter home that we created in the last episode um, and in between episodes I did go and create a mine shaft down here so I just have a little um, mine I don't I really can't remember the difference between like a strip mine or a branch mine but I have one of those down there I'll show you eventually um, but while mining I did end up collecting a lot of the resources so here you know I collected some lapis um, and then a lot of redstone too and that's gonna come in handy since I do like to build a lot with redstone contraptions um, I do have a little bit of iron as well as some coal for smelting and then one of those rare resources I do have some gold um, but I was quite surprised to find some diamonds so really this episode I want to um, create some diamond uh, tools or pretty probably just a pickaxe and you know me I just want to be able to enchant that and make sure it lasts as long as possible but the thing is, we don't have any bookshelves, we don't have an enchanting table. Um, so in this episode, we want to get our um, enchanting table all set up, which means we need a lot of bookcases too. So let's first start out. We're going to go and find some obsidian down in our mine. So let's just go down into our mine. I can't really remember where I have some obsidian. I know it's close, but... Nope, oh, there's a zombie someplace, but probably in one of the caves up there that I haven't explored all that much. So here we are in our mine. Okay, I'm going to need some cobblestone because I like to fill up this gap too, these gaps here. So um, I'm going to pick up some obsidian. Let's hope it doesn't fall into lava. Come on, obsidian. Okay, a little dirt block underneath. That. So let's make sure I pick up all the obsidian and I don't end up falling into lava. So let's hold shift <laughs> so I don't end up accidentally falling in. Because I do have quite a bit of resources. As you can see, I have about two stacks of <laughs> oak wood that I just collected. Um, I don't know why I didn't put it away in my chest. Okay, so let's pick up about four or five. I think you need four to craft a bench or a uh, enchanting table um, so let's just collect this just if we have an extra obsidian block that would be okay all right so now we have five let me go ahead and fill in this gap here because well hmm, never mind I'm not gonna be running down there that often but okay so we have the obsidian let's go ahead and we need to get some leather to start getting some books so let's go back up to the surface let's start rounding up some cows oh it's dark outside so you know what let's let's try to sleep okay and wait for the daytime watch all the skeletons burn or at least listen to them burn let's put the obsidian away to be safe and let's put these stacks of wood in here to be safe as well so what I'm going to need is some wheat to round up these cows. And I'm actually thinking, you know, let's create some fences, actually, and then so we can pen in our cows. So let's create a bunch of those. I guess we are going to need sticks. So let's go ahead. 20 is probably not enough. Okay, let's create more. And then probably... I guess that's all. Okay, let's put the sticks back. Let's get rid of those pesky spiders up there. Oh, oh. There's a lot of spiders. Three spiders. Come on. There we go. Now we got a bunch of string. 
and you know i do have 30 levels of experience so i want to be able to use those and oh there's a creeper over there i always got to be careful because there's creepers everywhere and i don't want them blowing a hole in the top of my house so let's go out here and just kill it creeper wherever we went to there he is that was close if you blew up you would have blew up the first the front part of my house all right there we go so let's start rounding up some cows there's a little zombie they don't they don't burn up in the sun which is really creepy okay so let's find some cows and where are we gonna round them up to Probably like right around this area here would be good. Let's kill the spider just so he doesn't turn on me later. Okay, so let me clear out a little bit of area here and just start getting ready to pen in these cows. We do have some extra fences later, so in case we want to, we can go ahead and add, hmm, do I have any ladders? No, let me go ahead and craft a ladder, because I want to be able to get in and out of that pen easily, um, but don't allow the cows to get out. So let's go ahead and craft a little set of ladders. Oh, that's not it. There we go, and let's round up the cows. For a second I thought that sheep was like a smokestack, and I was like, oh, that's cool, but no, it's not. Uh, sheep, I don't want you in here, so you could get out there. All right, see, now we can climb in and out. So let's go ahead and round up this cow. Get in here, cow. You know what? No, the sheep. I don't want the sheep in here. Ah, it's too late. Okay, come on, cow. In. In. Perfect. All right, let's get another cow. Just so that I'm not waiting around forever for the cows to breed. So we're going to create, get some leather by getting these cows breeding together. And then we can start crafting our book. So in the meantime, while these cows are breeding, I can go ahead and get more uh, sugar cane. I do have a little sugar cane farm set up over there. So turn it into paper, and then we can craft our books together. Um, so like I said, this episode, we're probably going to get our crafting bench set up together um, just so that we take advantage, full advantage of our diamond tools at the start. So... Uh, once that is all started up, I will get back to you, and then we can continue on our uh, quest to create these bookshelves and enchanted table. So I guess now as we wait for our cows to breed, we can go ahead and figure out where do we want to put our enchanting table in our house. So actually looking back outside, you know, we do have a little bit of a hill here, so I mean if we wanted to, we could use the inside corner. Um, like as we walk in we can go ahead and walk in like this corner and then um, have a little library um, although we could also do the same in this back corner and I'm not so sure about this corner or that other corner um, just because it is kind of going to the outside but you know thinking about it I'm okay with having like um, little areas that go on the outside of of the hill I mean are jetting out of the hill and that it's getting dark but I'm okay with having areas that have like open windows to looking out at the ocean um, so I'm thinking about incorporating that into it and I don't know if I want to have my enchanting table out there or not but let me go ahead and sleep on that and then we can kind of figure something out so we, we could dig out that area and just see how it looks so let's just go ahead and sleep okay and then let's go ahead and well, I put that away but let's go ahead and take out my pickaxe or my axe oh, I forgot I kind of dug this area out earlier okay let's just put a torch down just in case even though mobs don't spawn right in front of you that would be terrible if they did 
So let's just open this part up. And then, I don't know, we could have a little corner in here where we could put down our 15 bookshelves. Um, but actually thinking about it, it's not going to be symmetrical over here. The reason why is because, um, well, we could. Hmm. No, this could work. Yeah, so let's go ahead and dig out this area and just see how far we can take it um, and see whether or not it goes to the outside. Okay, so let's dig this out. Oh, I forgot. Maybe I should put a torch back here unless I want to fill that in later. So let's clear this area out because I'm thinking about putting our enchanting table back in this area so that as we walk in um, we can have just the library in one of the corners. So I think that would look actually kind of good. So like just to picture that, let me put down some, some cobblestone um, and maybe some dirt too just to kind of visualize it a little bit. So I guess where that torch was, or actually there could put our enchanting table there and so I don't know if you know this already but with the bookshelves I mean to increase the efficiency of your enchanting table you need to put your bookshelves around your enchanting table and you only need 15 in order to do that so normally you just kind of surround this area with the bookshelves um, and then so we could put the bookshelves here, probably just underground, just a little bit, like one or two blocks. Um, and then so that it's it's kind of even, you could just walk on top of the bookshelves, right click, oh, <laughs> right click on the enchanting table, enchant your things, and then go on your merry way. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this area out, um, decorate around it, and then so, and then keep breeding breeding those cows. Um, and then once we get all those materials, we can come back and uh, see how it all looks together. So I could only find about four cows out in this area, um, but you know, coming back every so often, trying to give these cows more wheat, um, and you can see we have a lot of little calves running around. Uh, and by running around, I mean they're all stuck in this pen, but the sheep still here I really want to kill the sheep but at the same time I don't I don't feel that cruel um, although speaking about cruelty you know I'm gonna be killing all these cows later on don't tell the cows sheep don't tell the cows <laughs> so over here I have expanded the uh, sugarcane farm just a little bit since I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna have enough sugarcane for all of the uh, the paper I need for the books but just to expand that a little bit um, so coming back into the house I did clear out this area um, just a little bit for our uh, enchanting table um, so just to visualize it a little better um, I guess I'm out of wood but I can go ahead and use this dirt so just imagine it um, in the center here I will have the enchanting table um, and then all around it I'm going to have about 15 or I guess 16 um, bookshelves and so all of that will feed into this and uh, kind of power or strengthen the enchantments of the enchanting table. Um, so of course that's all going to be changing in 1.8 so that's why I'm using this right now. Right now we're in 1.75. Um, so for right now this will work. I'm not really sure how the enchantments work in the next upcoming patch, um, but we're going to be finding that out soon. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just kind of waiting for these cows to breed a lot and so I could go ahead and kill them and get their leather. Um, not so interested yet in getting it for their meat because I do have a lot of wheat for the bread. I know I was talking about earlier using the beef for um, a food source, but bread is doing okay too. So let's see, can I breed these cows again? Oh good. Okay, so let's go ahead and give these cows some of their, their wheat. And as you can tell, I'm getting a lot of experience from these cows too. I'm probably going to end up around like level 33 by the time I'm done and then going to 
put on some enchantments. Um, but yeah, so once that's all done, wait a second, how did I get raw beef? Did the cow die? They like suffocate in the vents. That's kind of what I hate about <laughs> about this. Um, I don't know. The game's kind of glitchy, and they just end up like suffocating within the fences, or like they pop out of the fences somehow. Um, but I thought they would have been fixed already by now, but I guess they haven't. So hopefully, not too many cows die, or at least if they do, I want to them to drop some leather. But yeah, once this is all done and I get enough cows to slay, you know, I'll show some video of that as well. So I'll be back once that's done. Alright, so we bred the cows one last time, and the sheep is still sitting in there. Look at him, just being pushed around by all the cows. <laughs> so um, I'm getting a little tired of just waiting for these cows. Um, you know, there's a lot of little calves in there, they're all going to grow up. So. Instead of having them glitch out of this fence here, I just want to kill off the adults. Um, so, let's, yeah, I just want to get their their leather and at least make a couple of bookshelves, at least the ones whatever they give me. And I get an achievement. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so I want to just avoid hitting all the calves and then just keep this sheep alive, even though he doesn't belong here anyway. Okay sword died, so let's get another sword. Okay. Die. So I'm picking up some leather. It's not going to be nearly enough for all the bookshelves. Um, but we'll just wait for these other cows to grow up. And then breed them. So we've got 23 leather. Um, it's going to be enough for some bookshelf. It's not going to be enough for all the bookshelves. So we just need to wait for these cows to grow up and then um, breed them and then do it all again. This is going to take a while. So I realized I'm waiting on quite a few things right now. I'm waiting for the cows to breed and also the sugar cane to grow so I could get more paper for the books. So and while I'm doing a lot of waiting, I figured I would create a fishing pole and just gather some fish. And we do seem to be gathering just a couple of things. I mean, I have a tripwire hook and a clownfish so far, uh, which is all fun. Um, you know, one of these days I am going to put together a little fishing farm um, just so I can kind of go AFK and just collect some um, of those resources that are kind of prevalent. I mean, you know, that you just fish, you find just the oddest things in these in the ocean. Uh, like you can get a bunch of fish, which is cool. A lot of the new fish that they added are, are quite interesting, but I don't know exactly what they're all used for just yet, just because I, I haven't been fishing a whole lot, but I do know that you can gather enchantments from the, um, from the fishing as well as extra hooks um, and name tags. So um, there's a lot of things that I want to be doing with the, the things that you get from these tripwire, I mean, from these fishing rods. Um, but it does take a lot of work and a lot of time. So uh, I guess since I am just waiting, I do have a lot of time in order to get all these resources. So I'm okay with that for now. All right, so I finally collected enough material in order to build this enchanting room. Um, but at, while I was waiting, I was fishing a little bit, as I had mentioned. So I did collect some raw fish, a couple clownfish, raw salmon, couple tripwire hooks too and a puffer fish got some rotten fresh flesh and some leather boots and you see over here I also got two different fishing rods so one has in breaking three and lure two and then this other one has luck of the sea too I'm not quite sure what the difference is between lure two and luck of the sea um, but I guess that would be worth looking into um, plus these leather boots I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them um, so let's go ahead and get a enchanting table crafted. So I'm going to need a couple of diamonds, I believe, and then this obsidian. So this is just a guess. I think this is the 
right okay so that is the recipe for our enchantment tables let's go ahead and get our enchantment table and I do have these bookshelves so um, we only do need about 15 bookshelves but just to fill in these gaps I did put in 16 so let's go ahead and replace that and then place down our enchantment table cool so as you can see I do have 37 levels on me let's go ahead and pick up that diamond pickaxe and let's see what kind of enchantment we get okay so let's see so I don't know if I need like a little ritual or anything just to pick up a pickaxe or enchant a pickaxe but let's see what I get okay fortune 3 efficiency 4 alright so that's gonna be good just to get any extra diamonds if we find any diamonds um, but I was kind of looking for some silk touch maybe but fortune is really good um, although unbreaking I think is even better so it's just gonna start out a little slow I mean our mining's gonna start out a bit slow but when we do find end up finding those diamond veins we can get a lot more diamonds from there so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of our Minecraft Let's Play um, so thank you guys for watching this episode if you do have any suggestions for future episodes or you want to give me some feedback you know that would be greatly appreciated you know it does look a little dark in that corner so let's go ahead and put a torch down there um, but yeah so if you have any suggestions for future episodes or you think I can be doing something a little better um, please do let me do know in the comments um, but again thanks for watching guys and have a great day